Thank you, Father. We, we want to get into prayer right away. We want to get into prayer. So we, we lost our feed on Facebook and YouTube, but I think we are back. So you can join us uh, on Facebook and YouTube now. So we're getting into prayer right away. Yesterday we began to pray our kingdom advancement prayer from Luke chapter 15. Yesterday the first uh, parable that we prayed with. And I said, if you look at the parables in Luke chapter 15, one of the truths that it establishes is that once saved is not forever saved. Okay. Here we're going to pray from the prodigal son. Number one, you must remember this guy was a son, but he left. Okay, he left. You can have believers who will leave. They leave. Not that Jesus actually asked them to go no but they left until the guy came to himself at a point then he realizes that no no i can't continue with this life let me return to my father's house so it was the guy's decision to return he came back by himself he came back by himself and and the bible says that the father saw him afar off had compassion on him and you know what took place the, the animal that was killed the new cloth that was put on the guy and you know the story of the guy's other brother came back from the town and was angry and look at the what the, the father said so look chapter 15 we're reading the verse number 32 that's where we are praying from Luke chapter 15 the verse number 32 it was right that we should make merry and be glad for your brother was dead and is alive again and was lost and is found your brother was dead he was a member of the house he was a member of the church but he left the kingdom he left christ but the bible says that he has come back and there is still room for him so what about if he hadn't come back he would have been lost forever okay he would have been lost forever but the guy but the guy came back so we're going to pray the restoration of prodigal sons and daughters the restoration of prodigal sons and daughters okay that god will restore that God will restore them. The guy was called Prodigal because he he lived a, a, a riotous, wasted life. Okay, reckless living. Like you say, he was living lavishly, large. Till all the resources got finished. So we are praying that Father, anyone that belongs to the church, the body of Christ, that has gone to a far country, let them be restored. The restoration of backsliding saints, the restoration of those who were dead, make them alive again. Those who are lost, let them be found again the name of jesus so kindly lift your right hand and say in the name of jesus this morning i receive grace the energy and the strength in the place of prayer in jesus name amen lift your voice as we take off in prayer right away yeah. Yeah, I'm 
The restoration of Baxleben believers, uh, that the restoration of Jenna, uh, that they will come to themselves after the order of, of the prodigal son. Uh, the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Uh, that this morning we are praying by the power of the Holy Ghost. Uh, the restoration of Max Leden believers. Max Leden believers. Uh, that they will come to themselves after the order of the prodigal son. Uh, according to Luke chapter 15. Uh, the verse number 32. We pray in the name of Jesus. Uh, the restoration of Max Leden believers. Uh, that they will come to themselves and return back. Oh God. Uh, after the order of the prodigal son. Uh, the name of Jesus. Uh, the restoration of Max Leden believers. Uh, that they will return back after the order of the prodigal son according to Luke 15 the verse number 32 the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth The restoration of backslidden believers. Uh, 
that they are coming back to themselves oh god and making the decision to return back to the father after the honor of the prodigal son the name of jesus christ of nazareth we pray that by the light of the word of god we declare oh god that backsliding saints are returning back to the kingdom that they are returning back by the compassion of the lord that they are returning back to the kingdom the name of jesus christ of nazareth this morning we pray oh god that you will cause them that are backslidden that they will arise oh god they will return back to the fall the name of jesus christ of nazareth that man no send that man one again the restoration of black living believers uh, that lord you will restore 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 those who are guilty oh god those who feel condemned oh god in the name of jesus that you will restore you are the god of the second chance uh, the restoration of backsliding saints uh, after the order of the prodigal son uh, the name of jesus christ of nazareth uh, that your compassion oh god uh, will be strong towards them uh, the name of jesus uh, the voice of guilt uh, the voice of contamination uh, the voice of accusations uh, by the voice of the blood uh, we silence those voices uh, and we pray that they will return uh, they will return they are returning uh, we call them back we call them back uh, the name of jesus uh, for they were dead uh, but they are alive now uh, they were lost but they are found uh, that is the way the father described the prodigal son uh, that your brother was dead uh, but he is alive now that he was lost by his founder this morning we are praying uh, that they were in the house they were members of the church uh, but they left the church to the world uh, but we are calling them back we are calling them back uh, that we are calling them back uh, that they are returning back to our foe the name of jesus that they are coming back to the fold uh, by the power of the holy ghost uh, in the name of jesus your name is the restorer the name of jesus i pray this morning that you will restore the backslidden believers oh god that none will be lost 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 oh god in the name of jesus you are compassionate i am the same that i'm in a day baba that one that came that i'm in a day baba that one that i'm in a day baba that one that came that i'm in a day baba that one that i'm in a day baba that one that came that i'm in a day baba that one that i'm in a day that i am a party that run that i'm in a day baba the restoration of backslidden believers the name of jesus the restoration the restoration by the spirit of the living god the name of jesus iman dandanda that one that came that i'm in a day baba that one drum that i'm in a day I 
we pray for the restoration of backsliding believers oh god the restoration of backsliding believers the name of jesus the restoration of backsliding believers by the power of the holy ghost the name of jesus after the order of the prodigal son by the power of the holy ghost in the name of jesus heavenly father this morning according to your word we pray that they will return and come to themselves and return back home oh god in the name of jesus let the prodigal sons and daughters let them return back home oh god the extension of your love your compassion oh god in the name of jesus i pray by the word of god that they that are dead they are coming back alive they that were lost they have been found of god in the name of jesus when they came the name of when they came the name of when let them be a recovery and a restoration of God of the prodigal sons and daughters in the name of Jesus. They are coming to themselves. And the Bible says the prodigal son he came to himself and said, How many servants do my father have? That I am wallowing in this poverty. I shall arise and go back to my father's house. Spirit of the living God, let there be a stirring in the hearts of the prodigal sons and daughters that they are arising and returning back. Oh God, we will not accuse them, we will not condemn them, we will not, oh God, destroy them, but we will welcome them to the fore and accept their return in the name of Jesus. Let that husband return. Let that woman return. Let that son return. In the name of Jesus. When they give the sin to the men of the day. When they give the men of the day, Baba. When they give the men of the day, Baba. When they give the men of the day, Baba. When they give the men of the day, Baba. When they give the men of the day, Baba. When they give the men of the day, Baba. When they give the men of the day, Baba. When they give the men of the day, Baba. When they give the men of the day, Baba. When they give the men of the day, Baba. The Lord is calling your back. Return, 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 return back to your Lord, return back to the church. We are welcoming them. The name of Jesus, the Father, so welcome them. The Father was excited. In the name of Jesus, it when they give the men of the day, the men of the day, Baba. The sons are coming, the daughters are coming, they are returning back to the Lordship of the Lord. They are rededicating their life back to the Lord. The name of Jesus. Let man do sin. Let we dream that we're with Him, Baba. Let we be party. Let them do sin that we're with Him, Baba. Let when they give that we're with Him. Let we be party. Let them do sin that we're with Him, Baba. Let when they give that we're with Him, Baba. Let one 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 young that we're with Him, Baba. Let when 
Jenda Jenda, at the Ibataria, at the Jenda Menavata, at the Ibataria, at Renda Menavate Baba, at Wanda Jenda Menavate Baba, at Wajuan Menavate Baba, at Man Wanda Jenda, at the Ibataria, at Wanda Jenda Menavate Baba, at Wanda Jenda Menavata, they are returning the name of Jesus, Ila Shanda Senda, at the Ibabad Wajuan. Et la Debia Retenda of the prodigal sons and daughters, the restoration, the Bible says, he came to himself in the name of Jesus. This morning we decree that they are coming to themselves. And making the decision, the decision to return in the name of Jesus. The devil will not stop them. The spirit of condemnation and guilt will not stop them by the power of the Holy Ghost. They did not sin against any man, it was against the Father, and the Father has forgiven them. Therefore, they are returning to the Father. Heavenly Father, this morning, by your compassion, they are returning in the name of Jesus. Return back, return back, oh prodigal sons and daughters, return back, return back, back living saints, the Lord is calling you back, he has compassion, he loves you, he loves you, it's an unconditional love, they are returning back, Amanda Shanda, of the prodigal sons and daughters we will not condemn them we will not accuse them we will not destroy them by the heart of compassion we will embrace them and welcome them back the name of Jesus Heavenly Father this morning after the order of the restoration of the prodigal son the soul we pray in our days and in our time the restoration of the prodigal sons and daughters in the name of Jesus Emmanuel son when the men of the Baba, the man feel accused, the man feel ashamed, but the Bible says of Jesus, it despise the shame in the name of Jesus. Well, break the voice, the voice of accusation, the voice of condemnation. Well, break it out of your soul in the name of Jesus. It man no shanda, it leave a man went with ya, it leave a man when they came that a man went there, it leave a party, that one that a man went there, Baba, that rim that a man went there. Baba, <laughs> 
thou, O man of God, awake out of thy sleep and thy slumber. The name of Jesus. Hey, Lord, the Lord empower you to put on your garment, the garment of your strength. The Lord restore the lost mantles of God. In the name of Jesus. The recovery, the restoration, the rescue of prodigal sons and daughters. The name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. If you look at the way the Father celebrated the return of the Son, it was amazing. That, that describes the heart of the Father. Okay, so God no be man who... I mean, you know the way men we are. You know, who... You know, the way they will dress you <laughs> before you even get to the one casabo will say yes. But God is not like that. You see, the, 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 the Bible says that God is love. The, the love is not feel you. Okay, the love is, is agape. God is love. Okay, that is the that is the personality of God. Love. God is love. If you look at the way the father, the father celebrated the return of the boy. It was amazing. Okay. And 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 I want to encourage the body, the church of the living God. There are so many prodigal sons and daughters out there. They are ashamed to come. You know. Once I guy no down. First, no, 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 praise and worship leader. When you come for no bear for, and no DJ, sorry, was I'm about to sort of Share, but that must not be the way it is done. Now, what we are saying is that we are not condoning what is wrong. We are not celebrating what is wrong. But if you look at the way the father received the boy, what the boy did was serious. Oh. What the boy did was extremely serious. But the father said, no, 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 come, come, come. Charlie, return, cry. Return, cry. Am I communicating to someone out there? Yeah. 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 Go with me to Romans chapter 16. And this love I'm talking about, according to Romans chapter 5 verse 5, the love of God has been shared abroad in our hearts by the Holy Spirit who lives in us. Okay, love. If you look at the characteristics of love as described in 1 Corinthians 13, then the Bible says that God is love. So 1 Corinthians 13 talks about God's characteristics. Love is kind. Love is faithful. Love is gracious. You know, the characteristics of love. And the Bible says the love of God has been shared abroad in our hearts. Love. And the Bible says by this, by loving, all men will know that ye are my disciples. Don't ever forget, God no be man. God no be man. God is spirit. And God is love. 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 No, because this prodigal son. Ah. Now, hey. So, where do you hear I mean, excuse my language. A boofoo. Charlie, I mean, the way what they would do to you. The father said, forget it, forget it. Come, come. Hey, you know the way I've missed you. God's greatest need, Timothy, 
is to have fellowship with his children that is the greatest need of god fellowship fellowship koinonia fellowship that is god's highest priority fellowship the intercourse the koinonia he doesn't want to lose any of his children the people that he has died for god doesn't want to lose them no look even the worst arm robber that is running around there the way god loves the guy eh, is serious yeah love that is why i said god no be man now man before he will accept you back to the house so where the answer so where the answer does it mean that you don't discipline people no the lord chastises them whom he loves but it is done in love it is done it is not done to destroy you it is done in love i mean let's let's be real okay love <laughs> Romans chapter 16 we're, we're going to read the verse number 19 Romans chapter 16 the verse number 19 and I read he said for your obedience has become known to all for your obedience have become known to all therefore i am glad on your behalf but i want you to be wise in what is good and simple concerning evil he said for your obedience has become known to all your obedience is evident your obedience is visible your obedience has become known to all obedience is the outward expression of our adherence to the word of god obedience is the outward expression of our adherence to the word of god but everyone knows that you are obedient to the lord this makes me happy now this is paul the apostle talking about obedience that the church in rome that their, their obedience had become evident to all this morning we are going to pray okay spirit of obedience consume my thoughts consume my thoughts listen to the prayer because it is your thoughts that determines your action your thoughts your thoughts your thinking determines your actions the way you think is the way you act okay your actions are the correspondence the outward correspondence of your thinking so you are going to pray spirit of obedience consume my thoughts consume my thoughts the name of jesus my thoughts are lining up to obey the word of god my thoughts are programmed to obey the word of god the name of jesus spirit of obedience consume the thoughts of my children consume the thoughts of my husband spirit of obedience consume my thoughts consume my thoughts the name of Jesus, can you lift your voice? that one 
the spirit of obedience uh, that you will consume our thoughts uh, that you will consume our thoughts uh, that our obedience will be known to all will be evident uh, that in the name of jesus uh, it is not like saying so christos my friend stop that thing that name of so <laughs> christos who told you your obedience must be evident to all uh, the name of jesus the bible says of jesus uh, that he was obedient to the cross even the death on the cross uh, the bible says he learned obedience by the things he suffered uh, he said obedience is better than sacrifice uh, he said that it is written uh, that we shall be doers of the word and not just hear us only he said if you shall obey uh, and hearken unto the voice of the lord your god uh, and do all that the lord your god commands you then the lord your god will set you on high above all the nations of the earth obedience is that which causes the believer to rise obedience is your ladder that you will climb to the destiny that god has ordained for you this morning pray the spirit of obedience that you will consume our thoughts that you will take over our emotions in the name of jesus spirit of obedience uh, consume our thoughts uh, take over our minds and our soul uh, the name of jesus and send the and paul said uh, that oh king agrippa i was not disobedient to the heavenly vision uh, that is to say uh, that i was obedient to the heavenly vision uh, let that man of god that woman of god uh, let him and her obey the heavenly vision uh, the mandate and the assignment uh, that the lord has given unto him and to her the name of jesus uh, the spirit of obedience uh, consume our thoughts uh, take over our minds uh, the name of jesus uh, we reject the voice of rebellion uh, the voice of disobedience uh, the name of jesus Let the power to obey the energy, the strength to obey according to Romans 16, verse 19. It is written that for your obedience has become known to all that name of Jesus. That man will see that man will see that we are walking in obedience. That we will not say that Christianity is something you do in your heart. No, what is in your heart must come out of your life. For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks and the legs walk. The name of Jesus, it is written that thou mayest observe to do. The doing is the action. It is the outward expression of that which we believe with our heart. Heavenly Father, this morning, empower us to walk in obedience. The name of Jesus. We are sons of obedience by the power of the Holy Ghost. The Bible says of Joshua and Caleb, they had a different spirit. In the name of Jesus, the spirit of obedience empowers me to walk in obedience to the word of God. Heavenly Father, this morning, I pray for the people of God. In the 
the name of Jesus. I pray for Augustine Odamton. I pray, oh God, over the life of Anita Asante. I pray for Efua Latte. In the name of Jesus. I pray for Efia Asare. Ayando Zenda Bakwan Tadiana. In the name of when the name of the the spirit of obedience, the energy, the strength, the enablement to walk in that realm of life. In the name of Jesus, somebody rise up and walk around the room and declare this morning that I am walking in the path of obedience. In the name of Jesus, I am a doer of the word. I walk in the path of obedience by the power of the Holy Ghost. If you look at the accounts of the patriarchs of this covenant, the Lord said to Abraham that leave your father's house. The Bible says and Abraham departed. The Lord said to Abraham that take your son Isaac and go to a place. And Abraham did the same. The Lord said to Abraham that circumcise all the male people in your house. And Abraham obeyed. And look at the patriarchs of faith. The Lord said to Moses that stretch your hand over the sea and divide it. And then Moses obeyed. And Jesus said to the people at the wedding in Canaan by the instructions of Mary that whatsoever I tell you to do, do it. There is what to do. And what to do is the word of God. Heavenly Father, this morning, empower me to obey the word. The spirit of obedience is working in us. I pray for a coup for Amor and your family. I pray for Rekwa Ekon, Wilhelmina. I pray for Daniel and your wife and children. I pray for Eugenia Kone. The name of Jesus. Have mercy on me in all areas I have disobeyed, oh God. And I pray that you will empower me with the spirit of obedience. The name of Jesus, the one you said to me the last time, I am going back to it. The name of Jesus. Shando Senda, that name of Bedwe, that one day came that a man of a day, Baba, that went to him that a man of a day, that went that a man of a day, Baba. There is a spirit of disobedience that works in that sense. There is the spirit of obedience. This morning, I pray that may the spirit of obedience, I pray, oh God, over. Jemina, Aston, Grandma Irene, I pray for the Quays and the Hammonds, the name of Jesus, I pray for Dwight McHay for the Lord empower you this morning, that you will walk in that realms of obedience, delightful, delightsome obedience, I pray for Esther Smart, I pray, oh God, for Vida, the name of Jesus, I pray for Bukua Bray, the Lord empower how are you this morning uh, with the energy and the strength uh, that you will dwell in the place of obedience? Uh, the name of Jesus. I pray for Fafa, I pray for Anna, the Lord empower you this morning, according to Romans 16 verse 19, that your obedience will be evident to all, that all will know that you are walking in the, in the realms of obedience, in the name of Jesus, Heavenly Father, this morning, we access grace, the grace to walk in obedience. The name of Jesus, 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 let me pray for all of you on the Facebook page, I pray for Abenanshira, I pray for Angela, I pray for Benedetta, I pray for Nitata, I pray for Narubi Odamton, I pray for Nana Abenakumiwa, the Lord empower you and your children with the spirit of obedience, the name of Jesus. 
Jesus. The manifestation of the miracle is in the obedience to the word of God. I pray for the commandments. I pray for Kwesinia in the name of Jesus. I pray for Hagan that Lord empower you this morning. The grace to obey. I pray for Mandy and your family. I pray for Apostle Peter and your entire family. The Lord grant you grace. I pray for Nanajoa by the power of the Holy Ghost. I pray for Cynthia Regina. I pray for the name of Jesus. I pray for Talata, Alasan, I pray for Teresa, the Lord empower you this morning, the grace to walk in obedience, the energy of God, the nobleman to the empowerment, in the name of Jesus, and when to the name of God, in 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 the name of God, my life, uh, every stronghold uh, of disobedience in my mind, uh, in my memory, in my thoughts, uh, I pull it down uh, by the blood of Jesus. Uh, it is written uh, that our conscience will be purged uh, out of dead works uh, that will may serve the living God. Uh, this morning, I engage uh, the tokens of the blood. Uh, I flush out every stronghold uh, in my mind, oh God, uh, that makes me rebel uh, and makes me feel uh, that obeying the word of God is difficult. Uh, but I pray by the revelation of the word of God that it is not by my might or my strength but it is by the empowerment of the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost empower me this morning that I will walk in absolute obedience to the word of God. The name of Jesus. Pray for men who are sent to us. I pray for now. I pray for Nibo. I pray in the name of Jesus over the life of Edna. I pray for Richie and Stella. I pray for Francis and Grace. I pray, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Every man, every woman that is gathered here this morning, let the spirit of obedience rest on our lives. In the name of Jesus, we are sons and daughters of obedience. We choose to obey God. It is our choice. And Peter said to them at the surrendering that you judge for yourself whether it is right to obey God or to obey men. We choose to obey God. It is our right of choice that we are walking in obedience. The name of Jesus. The place of persistence in our work of obedience, the place of consistency. I pray for my mere sequence. I pray for the name of Jesus. I pray, oh God, for if we say by the power of the Holy Ghost. I want us to deal with something. I want us to deal with strange voices. Strange voices, okay? I, I just I just keep hearing strange voices. The, you know, you as if somebody the thing the voices are speaking, they are contrary to the word of God. Strange voices. Strange voices. Strange voices. Strange voices. Okay? We want to silence those voices. Strange voices. That is contrary to the voice of God. This morning you are commanding those voices to be scattered. The name of Jesus. Very strange voices. Listen, a gentleman called me. Okay, this was about two weeks ago. Then he said he's been hearing a voice that he should divorce the wife. And I said, What has your wife done? He said, I don't know. 
I said, that is a strange voice. He said, Pastor, the thing comes like, it, 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 look, it comes like something. So by the leading of the Holy Ghost, I held the ears. And I said, I close your ears to those voices. The name of Jesus. And I said, go. He said, from that day, his love for the wife changed. There are demonic voices. Demonic voices. Any voice that contradicts the word of God. I am not your candidate. I break your and I destroy you now. The name of Jesus. Any voice that is not consistent with the word of God. I command you out of my soul the name of jesus i break and destroy strange voices the name of jesus sometimes the enemy can use your friends sometimes they come in a form of a dream this morning lift your voice and scatter them scatter them declare that you are not their candidate command them silence them the name of jesus they are called evil voices silence them the name of jesus silence them by the blood of jesus silence them the name of jesus command those voices to be silenced now the name of jesus silence them the name of jesus silence them strange voices evil voices that are speaking against any area of my life silence them the name of jesus in john chapter 10 verse 5 jesus said they will not follow the voice of a stranger they will not they will never follow the voice of a stranger the name of jesus pray this morning that any voice that contradicts the word of god commanded to be silent the name of jesus in your place of work in your marriage strange voices silence them the name of jesus Access to the voice of God. That we are walking obedience to the voice of God. The name of Jesus. And these strange voices. Command the voices to be silenced by the power of the Holy Ghost. The name of Jesus. Sometimes those voices can make you resign from your office. They can make you resign from your office. Sometimes those voices can make you do the wrong course. You say, go and meanwhile, that is not the will of God for you. This morning, silence them. And then you are establishing the voice of God. The voice of God. The voice of God. According to John chapter 10, verse 5. The voice of God. The voice of God. God. John chapter 10 verse 27 that you hear the voice of God the voice of God I am a sheep I hear the voice of the shepherd the name of Jesus any strange voice that wants to take you out of the ways of God out of the will of God this morning silence that voice the name of Jesus your children will not hear strange voices strange voices oh Lord there is a young lady listening you have been hearing voices Voices, uh, to consult something that is not God. Uh, that is a strange voice. Uh, your 
friends are telling you that it has worked for them and you are just battling in your emotion whether to go or not thou sayest the Lord don't go don't sell your soul for the Lord is telling you that wait on him he will come through for you the name of Jesus as I said it we are shower the name of Jesus I silence those strange voices and I establish the voice of God in the lives of the saints of God. The name of Jesus, access to the voice of God that you will know what to do, the steps to take, that you will obey the voice of God. The name of Jesus. Akosia, reject that report and this morning lay your hands on that small girl and call her name and say in the name of Jesus that my daughter you are growing healthy the name of Jesus Autism is not your portion. The Bible says, uh, speak life. Uh, the name of Jesus. I decree uh, that your daughter is growing healthy. The name of Jesus. Uh, the touch of the Lord uh, over your daughter now. Uh, the touch of the Lord. Uh, of course, uh, if you have an anointing oil, uh, just anoint your daughter. Now, the healing power of God uh, is on your daughter. The name of Jesus. Only shed. Uh, and, 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 uh, the daughter is preserved the name of Jesus I dispatch the angel of the Lord over the life of your daughter this one is a living testimony the name of Jesus this morning prayer that any voice that is not of God that speaks to my mind and my soul enough is enough uh, I break that voice uh, and I establish the voice of God uh, 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 access to the voice of God uh, the name of Jesus our children are hearing from God after the order of someone our husbands are hearing from God our wives are hearing from God that you are hearing regarding what to do the steps to take the way to go receive it the name of Jesus that you are hearing the voice of God you will not fall for strange voices the name of Jesus Somebody hearing the voice of God in an unprecedented way. Ayakashana. Somebody is hearing the voice of God in an unprecedented way. The name of Jesus. The Holy Ghost is talking to you. You are hearing the voice of God. This morning receive it. Your spiritual ear. It is open. Open. The name of Jesus. Your spirit is sensitive to the tunes of the Holy Ghost. The name of Jesus. You are picking the signals from immortality. By the power of the Holy Ghost. The name of Jesus. I pray for Thomas Williams. The Lord show you what to do. I pray for the power that God establishes voice. I pray for Antimonica. The name of Jesus. Zenda Zenda. I want to wonder the man of God. I am a party. I want to come to the 
Amen. When they came to the bed of her, any voice uh, that is speaking against your marriage, uh, do they silence it? Uh, the voice is speaking uh, against your destiny. Silence it. Uh, the name of Jesus. Uh, Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Hey, lift up your hands. Thank you, Father. Now, um, uh, Timothy, uh, I'm going to, uh, we are going to pray, okay, what I call the prayer of faith, okay, the prayer of faith. Uh, so, I'm going to teach the word of God for about 25 minutes, okay, yeah, for about 25 minutes, then we're going to get into prayer, okay. So, what we're going to teach is what we're going to pray. So, Timo, gauge the time for me. 25 minutes. Don't let it go beyond 25 minutes. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Father. Now, you, you I, I received a message, okay, from one of our listeners. And I inquired from the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit told me that I should go ahead and do. You know, we've been talking about believing believe the word so the person said yesterday she went over the message again and she said wow pastor Kujo, this thing is serious so please teach it again so that we we would gain the understanding again what okay so I am saying that if you are going to see the manifestation of God's promises after locating the word, after meditating on the word, you must believe the word. You believe the word. Okay? You believe the word. You believe the word. So can I go ahead? Let's go to Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 28. The verse number 16. Open your Bible because we're going to use this to pray, okay? Isaiah chapter 28. The verse number 16. Oh, thank you, Holy Ghost. Isaiah chapter 28, the verse number 16. Isaiah chapter 28, the verse number 16. Therefore, 
Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I lay in Zion a stone for a foundation, a tried stone, a precious cornerstone, a sheer foundation. Whoever believes will not act hastily. Whoever believes will not act hastily. So, those who believe, they don't act hastily. No. They don't act in fear. They don't act in fear. They don't act without understanding the knowledge of God. The Bible says that those who believe, they do not act. So you see, there is what to do anytime you believe the word. Those who believe, they do not act. They do not act. The action is the outward expression of what you believe. Those who believe, they do not act. They do not act hastily. No, they don't act that way. Thank you, Father. Go with me to Mark chapter 16. Note the scriptures. Mark chapter 16. Mark chapter 16. The verse number 17. We are going somewhere. Mark chapter 16. The verse number 17. Mark 16, 17. And these signs will follow those who believe. These signs will follow those who believe. Those who believe don't look for signs. The signs follow. They follow those who believe. When you believe, you command signs. When you believe, you command results. These signs will follow. When you believe, you attract signs. These signs will follow. Those who believe. And I told you that you don't believe in a vacuum. What you believe is the word. The word of God. That is what you believe. You believe the word of God. These signs shall follow those who believe. Then he said in my name. So they believe in the name. They believe in the power that is in the name. They believe in the authority that is in the name. They believe in the effect the name has within this jurisdiction. They believe in the name. He said in my name. The reason why they believe in the name is because they use the name. They use the name. They know the worth of the name. They know the authority the name has. They know the power that is vested in the name. You see, everything in the kingdom is actually done on the premise of knowledge. It is called revelation. Everything we do is based on knowledge. These signs shall follow those who believe. What do they believe? They believe in the name. He said, in my name, in my name, they shall cast out demons. They will speak with new tongues. Now listen, how many of you speak in tongues? So if you, if you believed and you now speak in tongues, why can't you believe? And know that your marriage will happen. Why do you doubt when it comes to the fruit of the womb? You believed and you are now speaking in tongues. That with the same belief, you are experiencing the manifestation of one promise. Why can't you still believe for the other promise? That is why those who believe, they don't act hastily. They don't act like you are in a hurry, be like that. No, they are on time with God. These signs shall follow those who believe. In my name, they will cast out demons. They will speak with new tongues tongues they will take up serpents and if they drink any deadly thing it will by no means hurt them they will lay hands on the sick and they will recover why because they believe in the name they believe in the name they know the name works they know they know the name is powerful they know every power that god has is vested in the name of jesus they know the name of jesus is greater than any other name in heaven on earth and under the earth they know there is power in the name they know the name 
is is actually the name that heaven recognizes jesus 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 thank you holy ghost thank you holy thank you can i go ahead can i go ahead luke chapter 22 let's go to luke chapter 22 luke chapter 22 timo watch the time for me 25 minutes luke chapter 22 we're doing the verse number 66 luke chapter 22 the verse number 66 luke chapter 22 the verse number 66 Luke chapter 22, the verse number 56. As soon as it was day, the elders of the people, both chief priests and scribes, came together and led him into the council, saying, saying, if you, if you are the Christ, tell us. If you are the Christ, tell us. And he said to them, If I tell you, you will by no means believe. <laughs> Jesus says that, look, if I tell you I am the Christ, you will not believe. So there are people, no matter what you tell them, they will never believe. I haven't you heard them before? I will never believe. Me, I don't believe these things. So. Me, I don't believe. Jesus said, look, if I tell you I am the Christ, you will never believe. You will never. Let's go ahead. Verse 68. Verse 68. And if I and if I also ask you, will by no means answer me or let me go. Hereafter, the Son of Man will sit on the right hand of the power of God. Then they all said, are you the son of god oh. now i want you to look at the question they asked jesus are you the son of god now let me explain this expression son of god oh, okay son of god uh -huh. son of god is not is not like onyameba yawono like a child of god For? no that is not the meaning son of god is god who has become man let me explain it again son of god is not it's not like god's child okay maybe the son of mommy or dummy maybe the 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 son of uh, sister mama or the son of auntie paulina no the expression son of god means that the god man this is god who has become a man so the jewish people ask jesus are you the son of god because it's a very very intelligent question they were asking what they were asking jesus is that ah do you mean you you are god are you god yeah. now look at the response jesus said and he said to them you rightly say that i am well, now, jesus didn't lie about it he says look i am i am now, i am i am god the, this man you are seeing here i am god he, i am the one that created the heavens and the earth so i am he said you rightly say i am Amen. look at verse 71 and they said what further testimony do we need for we have heard it ourselves from his own mouth now it was on this basis that christ was crucified because he made himself god so this was the this was the charge this was what they used to charge him you know jesus was trialed he went through a full trial okay he defended himself but he passed judgment against him because jesus jesus confessed who he was he said i am the son of god that means that i am the god who has become man that is the meaning of the expression son of god so jesus tells them that look if i tell you that i am the christ 
you will not believe jesus is saying that look i am the christ do you believe it do you believe that jesus is lord of lord do you believe jesus is lord over sickness do you believe he is master over demonic attacks do you believe jesus is your preserver your protector do you believe jesus is the one who guides you the question is do you believe that he's the one who blesses your life do you believe it jesus says that look if i tell you you will not believe it that is why i'm not wasting my time then they said ah are you the son of god he said you have rightly said it i am the son of god they said ah what other evidence do we need he has made himself god we need to kill this guy luke chapter 24 the verse number 45 luke chapter 24 luke chapter 24 the verse number 45 Luke chapter 24. Okay, let's read the verse number 25, rather. Not 45, 25. Luke chapter 24, the verse number 25. Luke chapter 44, the verse number 20, 25. Sorry. Luke 44, 25. And I read. Then he said to them, Oh, foolish ones. Charlie. He's serious oh. Timothy. Jesus is talking to people and he called them foolish. Hey. Yes. And Nepa. Charismatic circle. That 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 you are you the pastor says, Oh, you are foolish. Hey. He said, Oh, or the old crack out. I mean, can we achieve a pussy? Oh, a Jimmy for hey. Or see, oh foolish ones and slow of heart to believe i want you to look at the condition of the heart the heart the spirit was slow to believe the spirit there are people where eh, they just struggle to believe the the condition of their spirit is so slow so slow jesus called it slow slow of heart to believe slow of heart to believe he said of heart to believe in all that the prophets have spoken they they don't the things the prophet have they are slow their heart is slow to believe that is why prayer and the speaking in tongues is critical because i told you that what one of the things it does is that it empowers your spirit to believe it energizes your spirit to believe when you are not praying okay and you lose your prayer life your spirit becomes cold it is very difficult to believe that is why you know there are people when they come to church you know if you don't train them and take them through the long hours of prayer their belief system is very weakened it's weak this is how jesus is christ the slow of heart to believe their heart is slow to believe okay their heart is very slow to believe yeah are you aware there are people whose minds the teachers can tell us their minds are slow to understand things so the teacher will say that ah, as for this student you are slow the mind is slow it's very slow there are certain husbands who are slow the wife will say ah, then I ate him, we are slow you know they call for a hot one. <laughs> My God, let's go ahead. Let's go to John chapter one. Are you learning something, or I'm wasting your time? John chapter one. Can I can I go ahead? Can I go ahead? John chapter one. We're doing the verse number seven. Can I go ahead, please? Or I'm wasting your time. John chapter one. The, the verse number seven john chapter one the verse number seven it is luke chapter 24 verse 25 that's the scripture i quoted that's right luke chapter that's where i quoted now we are in john one the verse number seven john one the verse number seven john one the verse number seven 
John 1 the verse number 7 I have 10 more minutes to go John 1 the verse number 7 John 1 the verse number 7 John chapter 1 the verse number 7 this man came for a witness he's talking about John the Baptist okay he came for a witness to bear witness of the light that all through him might believe that all through him might believe the bible is talking about the ministry of john the baptist you know he's known as the forerunner the one who announced the coming of the messiah he was the one who pointed everybody to jesus and the bible says that through the ministry of john the baptist everybody might believe so there are men and women john the baptist is dead and gone there are men and women in every generation that the holy spirit anoints the holy spirit anoints them and empowers them that through their teachings and their expositions of the word of god when you sit under their ministry you believe your belief system is energized your belief system is enabled your belief system is empowered your belief system is developed that was one of the ministries john the baptist had the bible says that through john through the ministry of john through the teachings of john that everybody might believe there are certain people when you listen to them you realize that ah, at the end of the week, you don't understand what they are getting so you live out of their ministry but there are other people when you listen to them you realize that kai akwe bowed you realize that your understanding of the word comes alive you realize that you are growing your love for god is developing they are the teaching priests that god has raised for your life they are the teaching priests that god God has anointed for your life the Bible says that through the ministry of John everybody believes that was the mandate the assignment and the calling that God had given to him that is John chapter 1 verse 7 so there are men and women when you expose your mind to and sit under their teaching your belief system is developed your belief system comes alive you realize that no your faith is developing and that is the ministry God gave to John the Baptist so as a Christian as a believer it is not every man of God you can listen to God has called every man of God to different categories of people there are people when you listen to them your spirit synchronizes there is there is a connection between you and them you realize that no no there is a connection in jeremiah chapter 3 verse 15 he said i will give you pastors shepherds after my heart they will feed you with knowledge and understanding when you sit under the communication of their knowledge the knowledge of the word you will understand their their message they are teaching the communication the message they are teaching so it's important that you you, the christian the child of god you discern and know the ministries that god has brought your way that enables you to develop and to grow your belief system so this guy called john the baptist the bible says that he came for a witness to bear witness of the light that all through him might believe all through him might believe so god has established men that through their teachings through their preachings through their communication our belief belief system will be developed and our belief system will be strengthened last two scriptures help me out last two scriptures john chapter 3 we're going to read john chapter 3 john chapter 3 john chapter 3 let's go to john chapter 3 john chapter 3 john chapter 3 we're going to read the verse number 12 and the verse number 13 john chapter 3 the verse number 12 and the verse number 13 john chapter 3 the verse number 12 and the verse number 13 john chapter 3 the verse number 12 and the verse number 13 and this is jesus speaking okay he said if i have told you earthly things and you do not believe how would you believe if i tell you heavenly things so let's establish it number one there are earthly things okay there are earthly things some of you have traveled to america some of you live in america some of you have traveled to uk before i've never been to america before timothy has never been to america before you know i've never been to the uk before now there are things in the uk you can tell me that oh pastor kojo in america 
you know in america you know in the uk in america in the uk you know you can buy everything online and they bring it you know what do you call call online. Are you getting it? So Jesus is telling Nicodemus that look, if I have told you earthly things and you can't even believe it, how would you believe heavenly things? Now listen, number one. Jesus is the only person who came down from heaven. So the only person who can tell us heavenly things is Jesus. Is that not so? Because he is the one who lived in heaven. He is the one who created heaven. He knows what is in heaven. Now, he is telling Nicodemus that, look, I'm even talking to you about heavenly things. Heavenly things. That we are talking about earthly things. You cannot even believe earthly things. How can you believe heavenly things? So listen to you and I. There are earthly things. There are heavenly things. Listen, if we tell you that by the stripes of Jesus, you were healed. We are not talking earthly things. We are talking about heavenly things. The things that Jesus accomplished on the cross for you and I. Okay? If we tell you that the Holy Spirit is your guide, we are not talking earthly things. In the earthly realm, they will talk about common sense. But in the heavenly realm, we are saying that no, common sense is good. But there is a place where God can lead you beyond common sense. There is a place where God can guide you beyond common sense. Those are heavenly things. Are you getting the point? The one who came from heaven and came on earth and died, he is telling us heavenly things. Why do we doubt it? And yet, we believe when people tell us earthly things. If somebody tells you that, oh, there is a certain uh, beautiful resort in the Axim area. Uh, I went there last year. It's a very beautiful place. You believe the person and you and your family went to the resort in the Axim area. You had never been there before. Even Google will tell you that, oh, it is about seven hours drive from Accra. You believe it. Those are earthly things people have witnessed and they are telling you and you believe it. Why do you you doubt the one who came from heaven and is telling you heavenly things that somebody will tell you that oh nobody knows tomorrow it's a lie we know the one who knows tomorrow our faith is in the one who knows tomorrow so jesus is telling nicodemus that if i have told you earthly things and you don't believe how can you believe heavenly things okay and i'm also telling you that if you believe earthly things and people tell you earthly things and you believe why do you doubt the one who came from heaven and is telling you heavenly things that he's telling you that look in heaven eh, your your destiny is blessed why do you doubt it that he's telling you that in heaven you are not buried why do you doubt it and the bible says that thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven so you must believe heaven heavenly things spiritual things are real you must believe them the same way earthly things are real spiritual things are real there was a man who came from heaven his name is jesus and he is the one who came to die and shed his blood on the cross and whatever he tells you about heaven believe it because he came from heaven most of us were not present when Ghana had independence. Most of us were not present. Most of us were not present when the 1948 riots break, broke out. Most of us were not present. But they have written it in history. And when they ask you questions in Achimota, you were answering the questions accordingly. 6th March 1957. And they gave you correct. So if you believe the things that you were not there, that took place, why do you doubt the things that Jesus is talking about? Because you don't need to be there. Others were there. And they transmitted the same information throughout history the same way you were not there when your country got independence and yet you believe in that day because that is what is written now look at the verse 13 john chapter 3 verse 13 no one has ascended to heaven but he who came down from heaven that is the son of man who is in heaven so the one that is in heaven the one that came down from heaven is the only one who can tell us heavenly things and he has spoken about these things in the word of god let me give you final scripture then we get into prayer then we get into prayer let's go to matthew 
Yes. Matthew chapter 9. Faso. We'll start reading from the verse number 27. What? This is a very profound scripture. What? Matthew chapter 9. It's on the horn, yo. Matthew chapter 9 from the verse number 27. Okay. Matthew chapter 9 from the verse number 27. We are sitting up on the Oh, yeah. Matthew chapter 9 from the verse number 27. Oh. Matthew 9 from the verse number 27. Oh. Hey. Matthew chapter 9 from the verse number 27. Are you there? Yes. When Jesus departed from there, oh. two blind men followed. Underline the word followed. What? They followed. Following is an action. Yeah, they followed. They, the, the, through, the two blind men, they followed. Uh. They followed Jesus. So following is an action. Oh. They followed him. See? Crying out. Oh, yes. Crying out is an action. Okay? True. Crying out is an action. Yes. They crying out and saying, Son of David. Yeah, 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 yeah. They were invoking the covenant name of Jesus. Son of David, have mercy on us. They were invoking the name. Number two, what they were asking for was according to the word of God. They were asking according to the word of God. Son of David. Now remember they were blind. They were asking for mercy. That God will show them mercy and heal them. They followed. That is action. They cried out. That is action. And they cried out according to the word of God. They were asking for mercy. And when he had come into the house, verse 28, the blind men came to him. So they kept coming. That is persistency. They were consistent. They never gave up. Jesus didn't mind them initially, but they were consistent. You know, we have prayed. Ah, we have prayed. Ah, PKF, you know, the thing. Ah, now we are getting tired. Hey, we don't get tired in this kingdom. Remember Gideon and his three hundred men yeah. they were exhausted yet in pursuit yeah. judges chapter 8 the verse number 4 yeah, they were exhausted they were tired but yet in pursuit the blind men were still coming they were still coming they came to him in the house and jesus said to them do you believe that i am able to do this look at the question do you believe that i am able to do this now why did jesus ask them the question the reason he asked them the question was to activate their faith he wanted to be sure whether they believe the word or, or not whether they believe him or not he, he wanted to be sure he said do you believe i am able to do this that was the question do you believe that i am able to do this this situation you are praying about do you believe god is able to do it that they've given you a medical report that they've given you a certain letter that they've given you a certain report that you find yourself in a certain situation do you believe that i am is able to do this do you believe that i am able to do this that was the question he asked them the reason why he asked them was to activate their faith to activate their faith now look at the response of the people and they said to him yes lord yes lord now remember the question jesus asked was do you believe i am able to do this they said yes lord timo this is the big one look at the verse 29 then he touched their eyes saying according to your faith not according to your belief according to your faith not according to your belief the question he asked them is that do you believe i am able to do this they said yes then he said according to your faith that tells you that belief and faith is different the reason why the people followed jesus was because they believed the reason why they cried out was because they believed the reason why they prayed for mercy is because they believed so following is an action crying out is an action praying